Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and I'm playing a new game. It's called Company Name. No, it's Game Development Tycoon. Um, it's a simulation of if you own your own game company, basically. So I'm going to do this like I do a lot of my other stuff. It's going to be kind of role-playing. We're going to play from the position of the character. Um, so it's not going to be min-maxing. If, if, if the company goes bankrupt, it goes bankrupt. Whatever happens, happens. We're going to play from the role of the character. So let's get into this. Welcome to Game Development Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time. I gotta go back in time! To the start of your very own game development uh, company, right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best spelling, selling games, spelling games? Uh, gain fans and become the leader of the market. We're gonna make some games. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your up and coming company a name. It's a cum company. So we're gonna start with the player. Could we be a girl? I'm so sexy. We're gonna be a guy. Man, I used to have long hair. Whoa, crazy hair. Do we have a red shirt? No. Yeah, let's go. We'll go with that. And we're gonna bring back someone we haven't seen in a while. Chichar, chichar, Ray. Charles Dick Sucker. And this was back in the 80s before he was president, apparently. And his, let's see, what should we name his company? Um, Dick Sucking Games. Yep, people love games about dick sucking. If you ever want to review the tutorial, nobody cares about that. In the upper right hand corner, you can see right now, while well, the game's kind of paused, we have zero fans. You can grow fans as you release good games or lose fans if they're shitty games. It's year one, month one, week one. You can see a little square there. Um, that will drop down, so there's like four. It'll be like a little timer, and then the next week we'll turn over. We have 70,000 in cash. Okay. You can kind of see up here research. Um, when we do things like build games, we'll get more research points. Congratulations, you just started your own game development company. At the moment, your office is in the garage, and you're the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Like uh, Apple? Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere to, on the screen to bring up the action menu. And you see there's a DeLorean. Do, 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 do. Doc Brown, so let's develop a new game. Before de de moment, you can begin. Uh, can begin, you have to decide. You can read what's on there, Super Paul. What kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select what graphic technology your game should use. As the game goes on, you can develop new technology and research it and get better at it. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, yeah, you can unlock new shit. So let's see. Let's pick a topic for a new game. These are our choices. Um, let's do a space game. A lot of early games were space. Unfortunately, this doesn't start in the Atari days, really. They should have the Atari 26. Um, a space game... Let's do action. We're going to pick a platform. Uh, the G64, all the names are changed slightly. That's like a Commodore 64. Um, and the PC, the Commodore 64 has about 56% of the market share. I'll probably call them by their real names if I think about it. But it costs 20 grand to develop on there. It only costs 5 grand to develop on the PC. So we're going to develop on the PC, though their market share is smaller. And since we're doing a space action game, we need a name for it. Um, let's call it, um, Space Hooker Invaders. Invader, good enough. It'll be like Space Invaders, but with hookers, and they'll be shooting babies out of their vagina to try and destroy you while you shoot them up with, I don't know, birth control pills up their vaginas? I don't know. Um, text-based or graphic-based? Graphic-based? You want to see all the little babies? They'll just be pixels. Nobody's going to ever fucking know. It'll be like the real Space Invaders. They'll move faster as the processing speed works out. So right there, we spent 15 grand on it. And, um... Game development will run through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you, um, suck some dicks. That's what we do here at Game Sucking Dicks. Dick Sucking Games. Whatever. To focus on. Picking the right focus, you have to... You'll see it here in a second. Think about what areas are important to your game. Read a brief description about it. So right now, Space Hooker Invader is space action. 
So we're gonna decide for a space action game, what's the most important? Story quest is not going to be, I don't think. Um, partly because we're in the 80s and remember, I'm doing this based on what my character thinks. So, like, maybe you've played the game and you're like, no, it's gotta be this way. Suck a dick. Um, let's see, gameplay should be high, I think, right? It's action, and I guess the engine level should be high. So there we go. So he'll work on those. And technology... Here, you can kind of see him now. Technology... Research is what we get when we build more. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Technology is the technological level of the game. The little blue balls... <laughs> when his blue balls come out, it'll go up into technology. Yeah, you can see the... That's what they're saying in the tutorial now. From time to time, there'll be bugs. That's on the left. Those need to be fixed before you can release them. You can release them early with bugs, but then people won't like the game as much. And then there's technology and design. So uh, now you, next for Space Hooker Invader. Let's see. We probably don't need any dialogues, I don't think, for this. Um, I don't know what kind of AI we'll have. We need level design. Maybe a little bit of AI. It's not going to... It's a pretty simple game. See, look, well, we got two bugs right now, but our de design's okay. Oh, we got a lot of bugs. It's, it's hard to program these d uh, damn hookers. During development, you can also add additional features like basic sound. You'll see a graphic type you select when you define the game to remind you of your choice. You can change the type of graphics mid-game. Good. So let's see. We don't need a world design, I don't think, at all. Um, we want awesome hooker graphics, which are going to be probably like four pixels, maybe five. You're like, I think that's a head. Is that a boob? Um, we can't turn off our graphics. We can turn off the sound. It costs more money for basic sound, but we're going to have that on there. And we want awesome sound. Since it's the early days of the 80s, it's going to be like, boop, boop, boop. Awesome. Yeah, look at our design and technology. I guess that's good. Look at all our research points. We can use that for other things later. The development of your first game's complete. Finish to um, publish it, but once the we still got three bugs we got to work out. Leasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only consider it if you absolutely need cash. I do need money, but we'll wait. Fix the bugs. Let's see, sometimes you get other things to get better at, too. So let's see. We got the design up, the technology up. Ooh, even more. 13, 13, 14, 14. He's like, oh, space hookers! I gotta program it! <laughs> I'm loving it. All right. The develop of my game... Our game is finished. While developing games, you gain experience. Um, Yeah. So let's see, Space Hooker Invader. And we get bonuses for that. I'm not going to worry about those as we go on. If some, You can find an LP, I'm sure, where someone cares a lot about that. We're just we're role-playing. Dialogues, what kind of dialogue was there? We can't, it's like the early days. You can't even say anything on there. Charles Duck Sucker, look, I got better. We can trash the game. I don't believe in that. I believe in releasing most of our games. Our sound was good. So let's release it. Good judgment. Create a game with a good theme and genre combination. Certain games have better genre combinations like RPG and, um, I don't know, Medieval would probably be good together. Your game's now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Yep, let's come in soon. You finished your first game. While you developed the game, you also gained research points. You can use these to unlock new options for future games. I already explained that. I didn't look at how to get to the research menu. <laughs> Our first reviews for the newly released game Space Hooker Invader came in. Came in her vagina. Seven. It's a good game. Thanks, Star Games. He's like, I love shooting hookers. Who does it? Beautiful. Thanks, informed gamer. Eight. Somebody loves it. Game here was like, I love shooting hookers out of the space sky. Played it for days, all games. People love shooting the hookers. That's why you pay them money so you can shoot on them. You can see the little timer going? Dick sucking games! It's new. It's a newcomer! Ho ho ho! And the game industry has just released their first game, Space Hooker Invader! The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, dick sucking games are sure to gain fans quickly. So, um, there's the release. How many units we're selling? I think that's good. I don't know. We sold over 5,000 units. We made it in the charts to number 21. People love that Space Hooker Invader shit. Now that our game's on sale, we'll receive income from the game every week it's on sale. You can see how well the game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Ooh, we got 41 fans. People are like, I love that Space Hooker stuff. 
So we can research. Let's look at research. Um, you can build game engines here too. We can build a custom game engine. We're gonna wait on that. We don't have enough or a new topic. Let's look at the new topics. Um, are any of those really worth doing? Fantasy, sci-fi. We're gonna research fantasy because that'd be good for RPGs later. Wanted it. Space Hooker Invader has achieved a company sales record of 10,000 units sold. If it sold one, it would have been a record. It's an important milestone in the history of dick-sucking games. <laughs> oh, man, people love that Hooker and Space Hooker Invader game. Look, look at all the money we're making. We had like 42 when we, when we went on sale. You've successfully researched fantasy. Come with me to a world of pure imagination. So we can look at our game history and see how it's going so far, how much it cost, what its overall rating was, the average review, the fans. We got a bunch of fans now. Let's make a new game. So we're gonna pick a new topic. Let's pick military, because I like it. We're gonna pick strategy. We're gonna go with the PC again, because nothing else is really out. And let's see. Let's call this uh, Show Butt Total War. Yeah, that sounds good, Show Butt Total War. Mm, don't sue us. It's a game where we show each other our butts. 2D graphics. It's a little more money, but better than text based. For this era, I guess we probably just. They're two little butts and they shoot poops out at each other? I think so. So we want a good game engine. Good gameplay. It doesn't need any story or quests. Well, what's the adventure quest going to be? Where will your butt go today, young man? You get butt points. No, thank you. Bugs. Um, probably don't need any dialogues. I wouldn't think. Um, uh, we need AI though. If it's, it's if it's going to be a strategy game, it needs AI. I don't know what kind of AI it would have. Release a full butt discharge. Oh, that's gross. Show butt total war, or the people just moon each other and they get aroused. <laughs> I don't, I don't think we need a world design. We need awesome graphics. Those butts need to be looking good in 2D pixelated graphics and awesome sounds for the. <laughs> we want people to think it's really happening. Man, this is gonna be the best show butt game ever. Space Hookers is now off the market. It sold 26,000 units and got 182,000 in sales. Sweet. Can we buy a new car or fix up our DeLorean? That would be kick-ass. Oh man, we got a shitload of bugs. Get those butt bugs out of there. Come on, you can do it, Cock Charles. Industry news! Recent market studies suggest that the Commodore 64 is steadily outselling competitors, competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. But they can't buy show butt... Total War or the Hooker game. Sadly, you can't port stuff, I don't think, to other games this, or uh, consoles and stuff. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Somehow, I think the PC will survive. And yeah, get that technology. We need the highest te butt technology ever. Ooh, end design. Oh, no! Fix that bug, motherfucker! Alright, let's finish this. Let's release Show Butt Total War. Oh, that scared me. Man, new record. They're like, that's the most realistic butts we've ever seen. Which, since it's just crappy pixels, nobody's gonna be, like, excited by it. <laughs> you sunk my butt, butt ship. I don't... I don't really... I don't really know, um, what to say about that now. So let's release the game. First reviews are in for Show Butt Total War. I can't wait to see. Hopefully they're not crappy. They're not... Crappy, huh? They're focused on artificial intelligence, serve the game well. Yep, those butts are very smart. Smartest butts you'll ever find in a game. You're like, that's a real smart ass. <laughs> I played with that ass for days, game hero. Ew. Very enjoyable. Thanks, all games. Look at all the eights. That's eight-tastic? I don't know. Seems pretty good to me. Go, show butt total war. I don't remember, I think, I don't remember what we sold on the last one, if that's going to be better or worse. Come on, people need that. Contra Hi there, I, I just finished Showbot Total War and I love your work. <laughs> Do you now, friend? I'm in the contracting business and we could use your skills, skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, 
Just let me know and I'll see if I have some work for you. Jason. Contracts are unlocked. It's like freelance work we can do. We can find a contract. Yep. Decide carefully because if we miss them we'll lose money. Like whoa, that's way too much tech. We're not that good. I don't think we're that good for any of these. Maybe we could do that one, but no, we're gonna pass on that. I think we're gonna just build another game. So let's see, we need to pick a topic. Um, how about a sports game? And I remember Pete Rose's baseball, so we're gonna have it be action, yeah. I think, wouldn't that be a good idea? I'm not quite sure. Let's pick a platform. We'll go with a PC again. So let's name it. Click on there. And we're going to call it... Uh, what should I call it? Um, let's call it Big Wood Baseball. Big Wood Baseball. Get your big wood out. Hit the balls with it. Um... And yeah, we want to make it graphical. No one wants a text-based baseball game. <laughs> Type to hit. All right. Um, it's gonna be action, so we don't need story or quests. Uh, we do want a good engine, and we want good gameplay. Cause you you want it to feel like real action when all three pixels are swinging. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own gaming console. Nintendo is widely known for a successful arcade game, Dinky King. Oh, they mean Donkey Kong. Dinky King. It's so tiny. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we're eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. I might get into the consoles. I'd rather just do PC, but it would be a shame to miss the consoles. Sooner or later, we need to develop our own game engine, but... We gotta get at least 50 points to do that. So we don't need any dialogues for Big Wood Baseball. Level design, um, I don't... I guess we'll just leave these the same. We, artificial intelligence would be important so they know when to steal and stuff. Get it up. Yeah, look at all our research. We're like research monsters. Um, we definitely don't care about the world design. You're stuck on a baseball um, field. Graphics, yeah, and sound. We want to hear that crack of that big wood hitting them balls. Squishy. <laughs> Cork, you're a bat. You're like, I gotta choke up on that bat. Fix those bugs. Man, Dick Sucker here is writing a lot of bugs. So I guess we're gonna release it. Showbot Total War is off the market. It sold 24,000 units and made us 170 grand. Kick ass. So I, I don't think this one's gonna do as well. But at least we tried. We're gonna get some more experience. Big Wood Baseball coming to your town. Hey, are we leveled up on engine and gameplay? And level design and artificial intelligence and graphics and sound and dick sucking? Oh wait, that's just us. That's just us. Release the game. Release the hound games. Ooh, today Nintendo's confirmed recent rumors. He spelled it with a U. Americans didn't make this game. Dirty foreigners did. It sees the TES <laughs> and announced their plans to release a new home gaming console called TES early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a unique design controller. So let's see, what can we? Our first reviews are in for Big Wood Baseball. It's not going to be great. I mean, our tech and stuff wasn't. Oh, they love it. There, yeah, level design. Why, did we focus on level design? I didn't think we did. They're like, it's alright, it's baseball. It looked like a baseball field. Good enough. Very good. Hey, this is better than I thought it would be. Let's get those sale numbers out. Yeah, sell! I don't know what's good or not. If they sold one, I'd be happy. So let's look at our research. Let's look at the custom game engine. Oh, we have to research to be able to make one. Somebody sent us a letter? To Charles Dick Sucker from Patrick and Daniel Klug. Those are the guys who really made the game. Hi, Charles Dick Sucker. We are the creators of Game Development Tycoon, and we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. That is awesome. I should, I should like, print screen that. It's awesome developers would put that in a game. 
Oh. Uh, game development tycoon's our very first game, and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup, and this will hopefully make sure we can bring you more games in the future. If you haven't, you should look up. Um, they released this so you could get it pirated, and it's kind of funny. Seriously, you rock! Thank you very much, and have fun with the game. You're welcome. They released a, a version on Torrents so that people, you know, people are going to pirate it anyway, so that people who wanted to pirate it could get it. But what happens is later on in the game, um, pl uh, in the game world, your games get pirated if you're using the pirated one. So eventually your company goes bankrupt. It's kind of like irony. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Now you can create your own game, game engines. All right, so um, what do we do to do that? Let's see, 2 D graphics. That's fifty grand. Mono sound. I want stereo sound. No, I don't. We're not going to create one of these yet. So we're going to build another game. Let's see. What should we build a game? <clears throat> what kind of game should we make? What topics do we have? Let's see. Um, fantasy, medieval, um, space. Let's do another military one. Pick genre. What do we do to be for strategy? Let's do um, let's do action. No wait, no. I want to do. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just looking around. I, there's not really. I want to do more kind of a casual game, but because I want to release something on the NES. But you know what? I guess we'll we'll do um action. Yeah. Pick a platform. We'll go with the PC. Oh, the NES isn't even out yet, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's call this, um, click on the thing. There we go. It's kind of like the 80s this long time ago, so we'll call it Tit. <laughs> How do I spell it? Calypse Now. <laughs> Titpocalypse Now, the horror. Um, what am I missing? Military? Oh, I didn't pick the genre. Action. There we go. We're gonna make it graphics, so it'll be like, um, you can see Sheen uh, go in there as he's trying to find, uh, who was it in Apocalypse Now? Oh, I can't think of the guy's name. So we need engine and gameplay again. We need a little bit for story quests, right? I guess if it's action, it won't be too much. A little bit. Yeah, develop that. Probably should get more into story quests. Um,. We want some dialogues. Come on. He, he's got to be talking to people. I guess it doesn't have to be a lot. Level design used to be high. Artificial intelligence doesn't have to be as high. You know, he's got to get through Vietnam looking for tits. It's Titpocalypse now. Oh, Agent Tits. Bigwood Baseball is off the market. Ooh, we sold 17,000 units. I think that's good. Scratching your head, dick suckers. Like, I'm trying to figure out the tit graphics. Let's do something on world design. I want lots of world on this. We can pull these down a little bit. It'll probably be a weaker game because of it, but... It's what I want. We can research... Ooh, today the NES came out. I want to build something for that. New research available. Gamepad. I want to research that. So let's get rid of these shitty bugs. There we go. One more. Two more. Wow, I guess he really likes working on Titpocalypse now. He's like, that's my favorite subject. Yeah, oh, Story Quest didn't quite level up, but Dialogues did. I guess it didn't take much. It's in world design. Yay! Look, we're getting better. We're almost level 2.5. Come on, everybody. You know you want to buy Titpocalypse now. It's the best game about tits all year. Our first reviews are in. Beautiful. I want what you want is beautiful tits. Very good. Wow. Yeah. Military and action is a great combination. It truly is. Enjoyable. He's like, I enjoyed all the tits of Titpocalypse now. Now what do we do? Let's see how many units it sells. Almost 10,000. Um, should we research something? 
Let's research the gamepad. We're like, we want to learn how to write for a gamepad, so when we get to write for the NES, there's something else that we're on top of that. It's like, I think I've figured it out! Right. Good job, dick sucker. You've been able to use these in games when you... Uh, you've just researched your first engine part. To be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine, which includes this part. So I do want to create a game engine. Um... Let's see, research. First of all, let's look at new topics. Um, let's do prison, pirate, racing. I kind of want to just kind of like a casual, regular one. Um, let's go with sci fi. We'll research sci fi. It's like, yep, gotta scratch that off. Doing a good job. We have almost half a million dollars. Yay, we researched sci-fi. So let's... Let's see, is the... Oh, the NES is out now. Oh, it's a lot of money to license for it, though. Let's build our game engine. I create a custom engine. We'll just leave that one. We want 2D graphics, um, mono sound, save game, and a gamepad. I'm not too worried about linear story. Should I be? Nah. It's gonna cost us a hundred grand to make this as it is. You know what? No, we're gonna make another game first. We're gonna develop another game for the PC, I think. Oh, our market share is going down. Wait, give me a second to think. All right, you know what? Screw it, we're gonna take a risk. You only live once. We're gonna try and create a custom game engine. We're going to try and create it so we can release it on the NES. Now you're creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine's finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. Because I want to be able to use the game um, pad thing that we developed. So there we go. And we get some research points as we're doing it. Tipocalypse Now is off the market. We made 167 grand on it. Man, we got to get a new game out before too long, though. This is eating into our funds building a game engine. Save game, because you gotta have a save game feature. A lot of NES games didn't, but come on. Yay! Now it's complete. Let's. Your first game engine is now ready. Try using your next game. Before we do that, let's research a new topic. Dance? No, prison. We're gonna dance. Because every... kids love prison games, right? Mommy, I got shanked in the shower! If you don't do your homework, you'll get shanked in the shower for real. Yay, Mommy! It's just like on TV. You've successfully create, researched a new topic, prison. All right, so let's develop a new game. So we're going to pick our game engine, our new game engine. We're going to pick a topic. Um, I guess we'll go with fantasy, action, pick a platform. We're going to spend the 80 grand and do the NES. Yep, we're going to pay for a license. I probably shouldn't because I only want to build one game on this. But come on, that's part of the fun. And if it's going to be like the NES, we need to go old school. So let's be super duck dick sucking bro. <laughs> no, come on, super dick sucking bros. Come on, like Super Mario Brothers. There we go, super dick sucking bros. That sounds so gross. We're going to do give the most advanced graphics for Super Dick Sucking Bros, and we're going to develop it. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't break the company. So, um, we don't really need story requests. We do want the gamepad on there. I guess we'll put a save game feature, because it would have been nice on Mario Brothers, one of it, to have a save game feature. We want engine and gameplay, because we want it to be kick-ass. Do, 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 do. Socky, socky, dick. The recently released NES home console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Hopefully that's good for us when we release Super Dick Sucking Bros. A fantasy action game. One customer says, I love the games that come with the NES and playing with a controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Fuck you. He didn't say fuck you, I did, because I like the PC. 
So we don't need any dialogue. I mean, you never hear Mario say anything to the later ones. We need, I guess, AI for the bad guys. I don't know who the dick-sucking bros fight. Glory holes? Or maybe glory holes are their power up? <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh. Uh, um, let's see. We do need some world design for sure. Good graphics and good sound. Basic sounds and mono sound? We're gonna have mono sound. We want it to be a feast for the ears. We want it to be ear feasticles. Something like that, whatever. Come on, it'll be a fantasy action game. You can shoot them too. Can we give them a gun, the dick suckers? They're like, I carried a gun in my pants. Look, our technology and design have gone up. Come on, keep. can you make the game a little better? I want this to be the best dick sucking game ever. All right, we'll release it. We spent a lot of money. New records! Woo! A lot of experiences gained. Story quests! I don't know how that went up, but I guess it did. Graphics! 2D graphics version 2. And we got better. But will people love our game about dick sucking brothers? The joystick? That's going kind of backwards. Atari had that first. Like, I got a joystick in my pants, ladies. Press the button. The first reviews for our newly released game, Super Dick Sucking Bros, just came in. His mouth! High numbers, please. Can't wait for the sequel. More dick sucking bros you want? Awesome. Played it for days. Like, I couldn't get enough of that dick sucking action. Love it! It's like incestuous. Beautiful! Beautiful dick sucking. That's gonna be the name of our opus. Well, how about that, everybody? Come on, let's see how many units it sells. That's not bad, right? I don't know if it's gonna bring us... Where were we before, money-wise? Recent studies suggest the increased variety of gaming devices also creates a market for specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater for the more mature age groups, like the dick-sucking games. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. So now we can research target audience. So let's do that. Maybe we should have waited for that to come out anyway. Um, target audience. Dick Sucking Bros seems to be doing okay. According to our market research recently, published game Su Super Dick Sucking Bros is a surprise hit with players. The developer Game Sucking Dick Sucking Games Game Sucking Dicks? I wish. Is fairly new to the game industry, but we cannot wait for what they'll develop next. You see that? It's a hit. Everybody loves super dick sucking bros. Oh man. I think that's where we're gonna end this episode on a high note. Next time we come back, um more adventures. And more dick sucking. At Dick Sucking Games with Charles Dick Sucker.